Am I more upbeat since I moved to Spain and the Philippines? Um, somebody brought this up that a lot of the videos are more upbeat in Spain. In all honesty, it comes down to one thing. The, the time in the Philippines, we had those experiences, we know those experiences happen to other people, etc, etc. So, the foundations are a lot stronger. That's why there's a lot more political and um, topical things in, in, relating to the Philippines. Because a lot of people come unstuck. Spain's very different. One of the things that people don't talk about here in Spain, which because on about the healthcare, you've got to have your social security, you've got to have uh, private healthcare, etc. But there's actually a royal decree that says you know, you will not be denied healthcare. In the Philippines, you can die. It also can be the difference between a doctor saving your leg or hacking it off. That's the difference. This is why some things seem a bit downbeat on the Philippine stuff. It's quite simply that I just wanted to get the message across and that stuff. Um, because if you know me, I love the Philippines. I love being there. Same as Spain. I love it here. Um, but I would say the less things are likely to happen to you in Spain compared to the Philippines. The disease risks in the Phil Philippines are much higher. Um, the pollution issues with burning rubbish and um, I would say the crime, petty crime, is rife in the Philippines. Here in Spain, we suffer with pickpockets, we suffer with um, people robbing the empty houses on the coast, because obviously out here, probably only about one in ten places have got somebody living in during the winter time. So, because even the ones that are here, what are called full time, they actually move around as well, um, because it's like in my block, several of the people go away during the holiday season, then they come back at certain times of the year. But they are actually full time people here, they're just not full time here um, because they have other houses in Spain or next doors there in Switzerland. Um, so yeah, I would say the risk of things happening more is there in the Philippines and that's why I cover it in, you know, to get that point across that there's a lot of problems in the Philippines that you just have to be aware of. If you plan for it, nothing will go wrong. But I find um, I, a few people have moaned about the, uh, sorry, moaned is not fair, um, complained about people doing these begging things online. Well, there's a prime example of people that A, may have fell on hard times, but B, um, some of it is self-inflicted. Some of it is the way they normally are, um, where they rely on other people's good nature. Those people have a potential risk of having life do that in the Philippines because they have no medical cover, they haven't got money to pay for medical bills and some of them don't even look like they've got enough money to pay for their next meal but um, at the end of the day it's just preparing yourself, making sure you're safe, making sure you keep your family safe and that's what's important. In Spain there's a lot of things here that protect my kids. They get the free education because you know their kids are entitled to an education. They get the health care cover. They get the, um, you know, the ability, they're able, uh, April can start working in the next few months. In the Philippines, okay, you can make a local living, but at the same time, it affects your education, it affects your medical cover, because most people are living in a hand to mouth situation almost. Um, they're certainly not living it up and putting money aside for next next year or retirement. Um, a lot of people just simply can't afford it, and that's the difference. That's why it may seem Spain's a bit more upbeat, but the reality is, life's a lot easier here. That's it in one sentence. Life is much easier in Spain. Thanks for watching.